How's it going? Another day, another project. So as you can see, the boat is leaning real bad. I uh, checked it last week or the week before or something there and one of the braces that broke on the crib. So uh, it's leaning real bad. It wasn't as bad as this, but uh, we had some rain and we had some wind right after it. And uh, I think she shifted a little worse, unfortunately. There's the old Jeep, there's another project. One of these days I'll get to that one. And I have to finish the truck here, that's got to be fixed. That's another project. No lack of projects. No doubt about it. Okay, well I got an old Carhartt jack and I'm going to wrap around a tree back there. I've got all kinds of rigging equipment here. I'm going to try that electric winch but I'm also going to hook up that two ton chain fall to it just in case. Try to pull it with the winch. It's a portable winch I guess. Bought it quite a while ago. Tag says 50 bucks. I think I got it for 30 at the flea market. But anyway, yeah, I got a, that one there's a two ton chain fall, so that's good for 4,000 pounds. Went out and got a couple big straps. These are four inch, 30 foot straps, plus it came with a two inch strap. By the looks of it, those uh, four inch straps are good for 666 pounds. So roughly three ton. Each one of those straps are worth good for three ton. And the, uh, the, the two inch is good for, well, less than two ton, 333. Uh, I got some more toe straps. Got some toe straps there, those about two inches, so they're probably good for the same thing, about uh, two ton. Got some shackles, got another chain fall there. That's good for one ton, so 2,000 pounds. Got that uh, turfer or come along, whatever you want to call it. By the looks of the hooks, I'd say that's good for probably uh, two ton, 4,000 pounds. But the thing is, it's only got a small chain on it, so it's just, if I have, that would be something if I had to join two different straps at two different lengths, I'd use that. But I think I'm just going to hook onto a tree back there and then hook on to the, uh, the boat and pull it. I have a couple of those scissor jacks that are good for two and a half ton. I'm just going to, at first here, I'm going to try just to, uh, just to pull it. There's my little stream. It hasn't rained in probably, oh, I'd say three days or something. So that's the, uh, just the main, that's usually how it runs. It runs about like that. Um, that this is where it wise comes comes down here and wise and then there's there's like a I'd say a sp spring fed 
part that comes down through here because I don't know if you can see through the trees it's running but it's not coming from the lake and I've already walked up before and showed you guys that uh, there's no water coming down there my well is just up that way I'm pretty sure it's a spring fed and uh, we have great water anyhow don't want to make this thing any longer than it has to be I guess now this is the fun part you can pretty well see underneath the crib there and uh, yeah it definitely looks like it slid so and this is the tree that I don't like going to be cut down. It's caused me all these problems with trees and everything else. And I have no idea what this tire swing's doing way over here. That's been a pretty good storm. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. Oh yeah. This has shifted since I've been here. This, that piece right there is supposed to be vertical and the, it's all broke free. But this thing here is all shifted forward too. And it snapped my blocking and everything else here. This is actually a lot lower than what it was. Uh, so, luck, I'm lucky that you know, some of the blocking's still there and it's still holding it up. But the blocking's settling pretty darn good. But it's mainly that, that V brace that has let go and I'm lucky that uh, Oh, it's not destroyed that up the uh, vertical piece there. Luckily, I thought I uh, thought it was high enough that I could put a couple pieces of thread rod through there, but I guess not. Anyhow, yeah, this is all. I don't know if you can tell. It's all pulled. It's been pulled. I'd say a good foot. And I don't even understand how it could be pulled. But it's pulled somehow. Oh geez, I didn't even know I had those pieces of steel in there, some type of a structure. I'll have to take a look at that. There's Lots of stuff, but yeah, that that runs fairly good, really. If I was to dam that and try to do something with it, but obviously that's uh, another project, and I gotta get all the main projects out of the way before I can tinker with anything like this. I got to get this garden in. So even to do that, I, I'm still, I'm going to have to start from seed in the garage. I got a grow light, so I'm going to start uh, growing from seed here, some corn and a few things. Anyhow, this is just a, uh, Kind of what I got going today. This is today's project. Monday project. Take her easy.